Welcome back to the Northwest Wisconsin Workshop. I'm Tom, and today we are going to show you how the dust boot interacts with the Rapid Change ATC tool changer. So I've made a couple of adjustments to the post processor. Uh, I've made a couple of simple adjustments to the tool change macro that you get from Rapid Change ATC. And both the dust boot and the ATC are working off the flood pin. That's the M8 and M9 commands. So M8 command turns the flood pin on and will raise the dust boot and open the dust cover on the ATC. The M9 will lower the dust boot and close the dust cover on the ATC. So uh, I have a program here that is just basic program. Uh, we're just gonna be cutting in the air for to show you the testing and the process. And it's gonna go through three tools to change and then it'll park itself out of the way uh, from my work area here uh, when it's done. So my work area is in front of these conduits here. I guess you can't really see too much on that part of it. I got a different camera over there set up, but where it's parked right now is its final parking location when it's done. And after we run through those, uh, the other program that I adjusted was the rapid change macro P231. And that is for setting your current tool height. So if you manually change a tool and you need to uh, send your uh, touch off on the tool length setter, uh, this will interact, the dust boot will interact properly with uh, the dust cover and the ATC as well. So without further ado, here goes the program. So it's dropping number three. The first tool that it needs for the program is tool one. So it, it already knew that uh, it had, you know, the wrong tool basically, and it had to go pick up tool one. And it measured that tool. Now the spindle will ramp up with an eight second delay to allow my spindle to ramp up to the speed required. It comes over, dust boot goes down and finish the program. It's just doing a little circle. And then I have a eight second delay when it's done to allow the spindle to ramp down. Now it dropped off tool one, pick up tool seven. And then it'll measure tool seven so it can offset its height from the previous tool. Ramps up for eight seconds again to allow it to uh, get to the speed it needs to before it starts. So I just have a one second delay. When the, do, when the dust boot drops down, I just have a one second delay before it starts running the program to allow uh, that dust boot to get down. Now it's dropping off seven and it's gonna go pick up tool three. And then it'll measure this tool. And it'll ramp up for the final time and run its program. So that's it. That's the program. So as you can see, I had to push the button one time on G Sender and it went and ran the program until it was done. So I guess welcome to full automation. Uh, it's pretty simple to adjust the post processor and you know some tool change files. So I'll show you that on another video coming. 
and we'll kind of walk you through that uh, and where you can kind of find those settings or add those settings. And we'll compare the difference between what you get from rapid change and then what you know, you're going to be adding or changing in the program. So the second thing I wanted to show you here uh, that, you know, for interaction with the dust boot is when you have to do a tool length offset, uh, when you manually change a tool or something like that. So there's a, a macro that you get from rapid change that uh, is called T231. And so that's the file that I adjusted. So I'll just run that program and measure that it just takes a second. Here we go. So you can see it, it uh, raised the dust boot up, it opened the dust cover, it went and measured the tool, it moved out of the way and parked itself before it you know, kind of put everything back down. So no crashing, no interactions uh, in a bad way. And that's what we're looking for. So I can run a program and do a big batch and this whole thing can, can run all by itself, uh, full automation, sucking up the dust, keeping everything clean and not have a worry about crashing. And with the ATC, as you guys may or may not know, uh, if you get the pro or the premium version, they have the sensors in there. So if you don't pick up your tool properly or if it doesn't drop off the tool, it will sense that and it'll come to the custom uh, park location that you set in that uh, macro. And so if you're not by your machine, at the time when you come over by your machine, it'll just be sitting there waiting for you and it'll tell you on the G sender screen, you know, what happened and what you need to do. And then all you got to do is either put a tool in or take the tool out and resume the program and it'll keep on uh, running the program and it, you won't have to restart your program or anything. So it's pretty, pretty sweet little feature. For this one, I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks, everybody. Take care.